How is it going guys? Back again with another video. So guys, in today's uh, video, I'll show you how I retouch uh, my hairy uh, background images or my bright images in Photoshop because most videos here on YouTube have been doing how to retouch dark background images. But in this video, I'll show you how I retouch my bright Im images to make them uh, stand out. And the first step, step is that I do even my model skin tone and I use my evening skin tone action to do the same so i'll come here to my action and run the evening skin tone action uh, uh, i'll zoom in my image slightly and on the model's face i'll sample the highlights and the shadows and the mittens so i'll open this gradient uh, editor right here and then select on the highlights select on the mittens mittens are between shadows and the highlights and then I'll select on the shadows and then that's okay. The next thing I'll do, I'll come here to my, I'll disable the event skin tone and come here to my background and then control J to create a copy. I'll select the subject because remember, we only want the skin tone on the skin, not on the background. And then I'll create a mask right here and then drag this up to uh, fit in there even skin tone and then I'll enable the even skin tone what you can see you can see we have our skin tone both on the outfit and on the hair so I'll create a mask uh, the stroke or slash uh, key in your keyboard and then increase the flow of your brush to 100% and then select on the even skin tone and then make sure the foreground color is black and then paint on the outfit and the other parts of the model skin where skin models on the model where you really don't want the uh, skin tones to be at. So guys, uh, right now I really do like how the image is looking and I feel it looks really nice. You can see how the face looks, looks the same as the other parts of the model skin. Now, the next thing I need to do, I need now to add a more skin tone and that's I'll use the gradient map. So I'll come here to my, I'll go back to my even skin tone and run the action again. And then instead of sampling from the model's face, I'll come here and select legacy gradient and then select uh, photographic toning and select this photographic tone and then say okay okay now what i need to do i'll just press alt in my keyboard and drag the selection we had done before because we had already moved the skin tones from different parts of the model's skin or models on the model on on the model's outfits the hair so what we have we have the skin tones of the skin so we have the colors we have the even skin tones or we have the tones on the skin only so this already looks nice before and after before and after you can put all this in a group see before and after i'll reduce the opacity slightly to something like 80 80 80 is okay yeah that looks nice already and then i'll merge everything together right now Merge layers. Okay, now we have this background layer which has an even skin tone. Uh, what we're doing now, we need to do frequency separation. I'll come here to my actions and then, then run my basic frequency separation. I reduce the flow to, I reduce the radius to something like 4, 4.5, and then say okay, and then create a black and white copy on top. Of our subject like that so that you can see the eyelids and the shadows perfectly I'll zoom in my image to let's say 50% uh, and then I'll pick my mixer brush okay I'll make sure it's a very clean brush watch next 10 lot 75 mix 90 and flow at 100 and then I'll press R on my keyboard to rotate my subject like this so that I can uh, be able to retouch some parts of the image 
So I've zoomed it, I've zoomed, I've zoomed it to something like uh, 100% because I need to use as lowest effort as possible on uh, on the brush to retouch this image. So you can see I'm, I'm, I'm just doing one stroke as I pass, just one stroke and move. Uh, so guys, I'll see you immediately I'll, after I'm done with the frequency separation or I'm done with brushing the old image. Anyway, so guys, welcome back. As you can see, I've done frequency separation on the old image. I like how the image is really looking right now. So uh, let me just disable the black and white. So you can see the image is looking great. And uh, the next thing I need to do, I need to do to run my, I need to run my um, uh, retouch for me. Uh, I just have matched everything. So I need to, to run my retouch for me so that I can clean every remaining blemish on this image. So I'll come right here and go to retouch for me and then retouch for me here. So as, as you know, this is the AI and trust me, it takes me some time. Uh, it takes some time to, so I'll use this the medium, medium image because my, there's this, the, the auto, the medium, the headshot, the medium, and the full body. So I'll use this uh, medium so that it cleans my image automatically. And then I'll say apply. Yeah, and you can see it has removed most of the blemishes. So what I need to do now, pick my healing brush tool and just spot healing brush tool and just remove this. Uh, flyaways, sorry, sorry, almost missed up there. It's looking nice already. Yeah, I like how my the image is looking right now. See what we can do to this. Yes, I like how the image is looking right now. So what I need to do, I just run my uh, frequency separation in this time around. I run my adverse frequency separation and make sure the radius is something like four. Okay. And then I'll come back and select on the low frequency. Then let's just now brush on the remaining. Yeah, now that how the image is looking, it's really looking amazing. Now I'll come to the air and just retouch the air slightly, like that, by brushing on top. Yeah, like that, you can see I'm doing it. very slightly, just exactly how the hair is flowing. So I like how this image looks. I feel it looks really nice. The next thing I need to do now, I need to do a uh, uh, dodge and burn, and I'll match everything together again. Then come right here and run my global dodge and burn. Okay, I'll, I'll use the invert check layer to make sure I can identify the eyelids in the shadows perfectly because what I need to do for the air images what we only do is enhancing the uh, 
you can do both both uh, dodge and burn but what i do i just enhance the highlights because i want the image to look as bright as possible so i'll select normal brush and re reduce the flow to something like one percent or two percent then i'll start by brushing this highlight right here this highlights right here like this uh, for the invert check layer, always remember the dark parts are the highlights and the white parts are the shadows. So you have to brush that as slightly as possible. That looks nice already. Like how that's looking so far. Nice, nice. So I feel it's already looking really nice. Uh, let me let me disable the invert checker and see how my image looks already. I like how it's looking. I feel it looks really nice. Uh, the next thing I need to do, let, let me delete the invert checker. I need to merge all these together. I like merging everything so that as I move, I can uh, proceed. Now I'll head, go ahead and work on the background. So I'll se select the patch tool and come back here to the background and select on this uh, switch right here let me drag it up there yeah now i'll go to ctrl j again to create a copy of the match layers and then select subject so after that i'll i'll just ctrl shift and i to invert the selection and then select selective color so when you select selective color on your new adjustment layer you the, the 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 selective color layer will come up with the selection you have done you had already done before so right click there and let's work on the white whites so let's work on the whites push it that way to create this more of uh, you can see how we getting a very nice color on the background and let's go to the greens and let's push them more of let's see more of this side i think this side will be perfect we don't want to make it look so fake now that looks nice and let's go to the neutrals and yeah. now that looks okay yes that, that's already looking nice go back to the whites whites and let's just that, that, that looks nice for the background uh, what I need to do now I go to my uh, go to new adjustment layer then gradient map and then I'll come here and select a color which will work perfectly for the skin I look for the legacy gradient and let's open the legacy photographic toning and we see if we have a yellow a yellow yellowish if you don't have you can always create them with the white uh, balance with the color balance okay i'll come here to uh, color balance and then i'll push the yellows this side slightly very slightly like that okay and then i'll come here to selective color and then i'll push the blacks inside like that slightly and then I'll go to the yellows uh, push them this side then can also push it that way go to the reds uh push it this side and then you can also push it this. let's let's add the yellow small we'll reduce the saturation after we are done and then after all that let's put the color balance and the uh the selective color in a group and then create a layer mask okay and then press on the selection below press control and select on the selection below and then uh, control I to invert it on top of the of the image of the selective control D to deselect and then control I you can see you can see these are different you can see this the, the difference so what we have done here we have color graded the subject itself and what we have done down here we have color graded the uh, background itself so this is the color grading for the subject and this is the color grading for the background you can see these are some difference and then the next thing i need to do i'll come here to my actions 
and then run the light contrast. But remember, we don't want the contrast on the background. So I'll just press uh, Control and press on my selection right here and drag it up to the light contrast. And you can see what we have is the contrast on the on the subject alone. Okay. Reduce the opacity slightly and reduce the opacity of the group below slightly. Now the last the last thing we do we need to reduce the saturation or the red slightly that way and I feel this already is looking amazing and that's the next thing I need to do I need to whiten the model's eyes so go to eyes and teeth whitening just and then zoom in on the, on the eyes I've over zoomed it but we need to make sure the eyes look amazing so let's brush inside right here like this This already looks amazing. Yes, and guys, one last thing. I'll just I'll match everything here together. Like that, then select subject. Um, make sure it's a perfect selection without this right here. Well, let's just work with it and then control RJ to create a copy of the selection then convert to smart object then uh, come here to filter then select camera or filter and then Let's increase the uh, shadows slightly, slightly, very slightly, and the blacks very, very slightly, like that. And then let's put, push it on the temperature this side slightly, and now let's push it this way. And I feel it's somehow saturated. Yeah, that looks nice. Use that, and boom, guys. We are done. Uh, that's how I touch airy bright images on in Photoshop because I do like mixing. Uh, sometimes I do airy, sometimes I do uh, dark backgrounded images, and that's how I retouch my airy images to make sure they look amazing. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow for more content like this. See you in the next uh, video. Peace out.